This radio here is known as the Brass Raytheon, although it was sold as the Premier, and it was intended as a uh, executive desk radio. It was sold uh, around Christmas of 1956 for a short time, and then that was it. Inside of this set is a four transistor Raytheon chassis, but the case is Swiss made. You can see a nice little stamp there, it says made in Switzerland. It's brass and I think teak wood. Now I also have something really special here. The rest of the uh, set which was sold optionally with the radio. You can see the pattern matches. Here's the table lighter. Still snaps open nicely. Doesn't have any uh, lighter fluid or flint in there, so it doesn't light. Here's a uh, cigarette box, which you could have engraved with your name. Apparently, the previous owner didn't do that. And here's a nice uh, rose colored glass ashtray. All the pieces of the set have, you know, nice little metal feet. They originally had felt on the bottom. Well, I guess except for this. Here's the uh, swiveling, you know, uh, clock, thermometer, and barometer. The clock, unfortunately, does not work. And it was quite a nice clock at the time. It's a uh, 17 joule clock, but it, it just doesn't run anymore, unfortunately. It's wound all the way, but it doesn't tick. Um, here's the thermometer. That still seems to work. And so does the barometer. You can see everything in this set is a uh, very high quality. I don't know how much this set sold for. There's really very little information about it. The set itself was unfortunately a fairly poor performer. Even after replacing all five of the electrolytic capacitors and the Raytheon diode, which had gone open circuit. Although it is on par with the, uh, you know, the four transistor Raytheon set it's based on, which Consumer Reports gave uh, poor rankings all around in terms of you know sensitivity, volume, tone quality, everything. In early 1956. It's probably one of the things that got Raytheon out of the transistor radio business. None of their radios really were doing too well. Let's hear it play. It's tuned into the uh, most powerful AM station in the area right now. They can also pick up AM680. Oops. That's maximum volume right there. And it's turned to face the uh, station. Not exactly executive level performance. I also have a second one of these radios which I may sell uh, in the near future. I haven't decided which one I'm going to sell. Just the radio though. I'm not going to sell the desk set. It originally took a large 9 volt battery, but um, they're not made anymore and the small 9 volt fits just fine. Because of the, the design of the amplifier, it, it draws a fair bit of current, so this little 9 volt battery wouldn't last very long. It doesn't use a push pull amplifier. No. Let's see the uh, serial number there. I doubt they made 73,000 of them.
Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any uh, more information on this set, please let me know. I'm kind of curious as to how much this sold for originally. I'm sure it was quite a lot, though, based on the quality of the workmanship. I mean, everything is really just excellently done.